today on Real Talk, I'm going to be hanging out with my girls. I'm your host, Jean Carla Duran, and today we're going to be talking about that dreaded topic that we females seem to run away from. That is body image. Everyone seems to have an opinion, especially when it comes to how the girl looks. Well, I'm glad you guys are here, so let's get the conversation started. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi, Hi. how are you guys? Good, thank All you. Right. So, are we ready for some real talk right now? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, well, I'm really excited for this topic because uh, it's one of those topics that females are always getting attacked for. Like, we're constantly getting bombarded by. I don't know a female that goes through the whole entire day without thinking about this at least once, uh, right. which is body image. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's always, it's like you wake up in the morning. You're obsessing over it at night. You think about everything you ate during the day. You're obsessing over it. Uh, so what does body image actually mean to you? Let's start with you. Um, for me, body image is knowing my body, um, accepting my body the way it is, the way I have chosen it to be, mm -hmm. and just loving it however it is. Okay. And you? Uh, I'll say body image is my own perception about my body, how I feel sexually about my body emphasis on sexually because you know females we pay attention to those parts of us yeah mm -hmm. so that's okay. what that's all that's right what but I, I, but it's actually funny that you said it's how you feel about yourself which gets me to think is there a difference between body image and self-esteem what about you yeah. Uh, yeah i think there's a big difference so i think self-esteem is how you view or think about yourself how you feel about yourself body image may not necessarily have to do with you as an individual so mm -hmm. it's how you and society see yourself mm -hmm. so that means people might decide by looking at you that you're conventionally attractive or not people look at a person and say oh she's definitely very healthy or not people judge your background based on how you look well we're obviously um, divided into two genders just for the sake of arguments <laughs> we're divided into two genders, male and female. And um, this whole society is putting pressure on us. Is it the male men that are putting pressure on us? Or is it females that are putting pressure on other females? I think that um, nobody's able to put pressure on you, if, if that makes any sense. Just like I say, nobody's able to make you upset or make you do anything that you don't want to do. You choose to be oppressed. You choose to be angry. You choose to feel like that based on what they have said. So you can see it and choose to not feel any type of way, you can see to feel, okay, you know what, I'm, I must be oppressed today, I must I be angry. You guys are mature. That's what I was going to ask, girl. You guys are real mature. <laughs> that used I'm to not... be me, like, when I would go to fit for dresses, they would say, what's your size? I'll say, oh, I'm a 14. When I know in my chest that I'm a 16. Mm -hmm. But because I was a 14 last year, I would say, oh, I'm a size 14. But it got to the point where I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm a size 16. Okay, and then what? It's my body, I like it like that. I'm buying clothes, I put my actual size. I will, don't deceive yourself and go and yeah. put size 14. The dress will come, you start acting brand new. As though, you <laughs> know. I'm taking pictures, yeah. you what understand? I ordered and what got and what, No, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm, nah, you well, did yourself. Is. I don't know, maybe just guys I'm around. I've never had a guy tell me that, oh, you're big, or oh, oh, you're fat, or any. So all the examples that I saw that you brought up were all females. Why are females so hard on other people, especially when it comes to their body? Like, it's not your own body. Why, why are we so antagonistic? Hmm. I think men are sneaky. Oh, you think, you think yeah. men they're do sneaky. it as well? They just, they just don't say. They just say things like, actually, not my spec. Exactly. But every man has a spec. Well, okay, but that's not a every problem. Woman has a spec. I was going to say, say it. I like the problem. But we also, say, uh, we, also say, yeah, we also say things like, I don't like short men mm -hmm. or... Um, men. Yeah, you like, so you, you, you say mm -hmm. things and you find that there are a lot of shorter guys that are very defensive. Mm -hmm. I'm five, eight and a half. And, mm -hmm. You know, they, they, mm -hmm. they get because we do make it a thing mm -hmm. to... We, we project on people what we think the ideal should be is. Okay. Even like leaders, you see that there's emphasis on how they look. He's a tall man. He has good bearing. You don't want somebody that has short man syndrome. You hear all those things and mm -hmm. it does affect how we look at each other. But I do think that both, of, uh, both sexes put pressure oh, on each other. Right. And this is going to sound terrible, but you find guys who say, ah, like, ah, she's put on so much weight. She's not even fine anymore. And this is not me being mean or shady or whatever. And it's like, but you love your mom. And she's mm. plus size. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, sis. So why do you have, like, such a big problem 
with people mm. who look like that. Well, you see, the thing, just like you said, is sexual. You, you're not trying to sleep with your mom. Mm. Okay, well, let's talk about the women that are out here not really caring about what men think and are creating social movements based upon it. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, social media has been buzzing lately with all of these different hashtags about women, um, women image. Right, mm -hmm. so number one, the whole hashtag free the nipple movement, um, okay. the hashtag like saggy breast movement, okay. where breast yeah, yeah it's saggy breast matter, um, which I, I feel like, hey, you know, do you whatever it is that you feel empowered mm -hmm. or, or pushed to do. But then there's also the opposite part of that argument that women shouldn't be encouraging such, um, such out of the norm behavior. All right, Ooh, the food is here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so what do you guys think about that? This whole free the nipple. What movement? do you think makes it out of the norm? Well, I don't think it's out of the norm. I think if you've got saggy boobs, I mean, it's it's a normal gravity takes exactly. a hold. Your boobs it's are gonna skin, go. It sags. It's okay, but but the opposite side is when you're going to a business meeting, you're now not gonna mm -hmm. put on a bra and you're just gonna be like, my boob is saggy. Let it just. Uh -huh. be saggy. Well, I think that's that still goes down to however you feel about your body. If a woman has saggy breasts and she's fine with moving around with her breasts that way, well, that's her. No, 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 it's not that. Well, that's her. It's not that I think that it's also, an, it's also time and place. And I think what those women are trying to say is that you can't make women feel bad for what they look like. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you can't make it that for a woman mm -hmm. to look good on any given day there has to be so much work put in to fit into a particular character more a particular look i guess one of the most controversial aspects of body image which is if you don't like it change it and that's the whole plastic yeah. surgery epidemic yeah. um and when we think about it in nigeria oh no people don't do that here but people they do hmm. people like well. plastic surgery. Know people do. <laughs> if i had the money no, i would do no. it <laughs> I will do it. I will film it. I will upload it on my YouTube. Okay, wait, I will wait, show wait, everybody wait. the process. Please. Girl, okay, nah. so not to call you out, mm -hmm. but I do recall earlier on in this conversation, you said you like yourself the way that you are. I do. You're happy with how you are. So No, I do. doesn't mean that you can't I, want to be better. I wouldn't want to change some things or be better. Mm -hmm. I know that, okay, if I do a liposuction and I wear you know, mm -hmm. tight-fitting, mm -hmm. high-waist jeans. Yeah, I will look different. Spanx. Exactly, I will look sexier. I can drop mm. the spanks, drop the waist trainer, wear the jeans like that and just, exactly. boom, you understand? So if I had the money, I would do it. And I would never be ashamed to tell people that I've done it. I've noticed that people don't like to say, say you say, yeah. have you done your body? They're like, drink water, drink water, you your business. Oh, I drank water, I, I walked out. <laughs> they will not be releasing e-book, releasing like. video. I'll be telling you that this is a workout that the sisters stop that. Exactly. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> Direct me to your doctor. Let let me go there and do it. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's all. Wait a minute. So, devil's advocate once again. Why, if somebody has work done and they don't want to say that they have work done, how is it bothering you? No, no, there's nothing wrong with exactly. not saying you had work done. The problem is when you you lie, Why? you, when you they misrepresent. Ask you. Yeah. So if somebody says, if somebody says to you, like, if somebody says to you, they are actually product peddlers. That's why I have a problem where you. You make you build a brand off of a lie, off of looking a certain way mm -hmm. that you that you and so you're, yeah. you're, you're selling people a dream that. Mm -hmm. But let's not even say the product pe peddlers, right? Let's say our big madams out here in Lucky Face One. Okay. Shout out to you guys. You know, you guys are the real MVP. But those ones that you know, obviously they've had work done. Mm -hmm. But if they don't want to say that they've had work done, I feel like there's also, and we females, we're so hard on each other. Exactly. But if another female doesn't want to say that she's had they work done. Her. What is the problem? Like, why, why is that an the issue? Only, the only time I ever have an issue is when there's a lie involved. But I it's honestly, not a lie. No, 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 no. This is different. So I also find it very intrusive to walk up to someone and say, have you had work done? done yeah. I, find, I think that's just a lack of manners, like mm. plain and simple. Mm. The only time I've ever felt some type of way is when it is clear. Mm. That's this was in squats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It wasn't drinking water, minding your business. business. Mm -hmm. You had no but all of a sudden you use that. You have a big one now, and then you know, kind of flip that into being sort of advisory on mm -hmm. this healthy living and how Selling to intense things, steps. things don't work. They do stuff. work. They do work. But I've always, I've always maintained honestly mm -hmm. that there's nothing to be ashamed of. This is another exactly. stop attaching shame to, to plastic surgery or living a certain lifestyle. I've heard that this one works, but this is the one me I did. Mm -hmm. The key is just like she said. I, 
Do it for yourself. Do it because you want to look like that, not because other people look like that. Or other people think that you look a certain way or you look bomb or you attract who and who if you look like that. Do it because you want to look like that. You want to look nicer in your jeans. You want your bum to be perky. You, 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 and not anyone else. When you start doing it based off of trends or what people will think or what people will say, that's when you are in, you are in deep trouble. Because when the trend changes, like you said, then you start removing your bum bum, removing your teeth, yeah. you know, removing it well, one I by feel, one. I feel like it's get better. Now people are still having problems and the way things are changing now, it will get better. There would be no problems that, oh, oh, tomorrow I can just decide to have a plastic surgery and I know I'll be fine. Mm. So I don't think it will stop. I just feel like it's get better. Okay, so you were just saying how you feel like it's just gonna, the, it's gonna keep getting better as far as like the technology will keep mm -hmm. getting better and it'll get to a point where it'll just be so seamless. But what happens to just telling people to love themselves like just the way they are? Even if you do have this option to have, you know, I don't know if I can have Yinka 2.0, you know, have the latest models and gadgets attached. Um, like what happens to just loving the way that I look now? Wanting to, loving yourself mm -hmm. includes wanting to make yourself look better, better. for Thank yourself, you. to Thank make you. yourself happy Thank you. again. Mm -hmm. If so, if I say, um, okay, now I'm happy with the way I look and then eventually I'm not happy. I should be able to change it to make myself happy. That's that a plastic surgery exactly. could come in. Exactly. So that is me doing something to make myself happy. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the contraptions for the girls that can't afford uh, <laughs> the plastic surgery. You know, if you can't go in for the 30 million. Uh, but you know what? You got maybe like 50K with you and you just want to get a nice pair of Spanx. It's not even 50K. It's cheaper, way 12, cheaper. 10, 10, 5. I'm telling you. Yeah, get one. so, mm -hmm. but, but how come, I guess my, my thing is we have... Um, Women were always really judgy, but when it comes, like, we'll be like, oh, you got work done, right? Which is like a permanent something that's always there, but you will take off your spanks on and off every single day <laughs> to still Girl. attain that same, so that you know, that, that same, same kind of a thing. Why, why is it that we are more, um, we have better thoughts about spanks and waist trainers and things that are corset training, whatever it is that you want to call it, but no. for now, that's why I become, said people just, people really would have plastic surgeries if they could. <laughs> they will still condemn the ones having yeah, plastic yeah. surgeries. Okay. I guess because it's socially acceptable now. Yeah, or Spanx is not permanent, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the other one is permanent. And you it seems like you said, it seems very and... radical. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, wow, you chop liver. Exactly. How can you do this exactly. kind of thing, man? You are bold. <laughs> so it's kind of like, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. But then meanwhile, with Spanx, mm -hmm. you, you, you put it on. Mm -hmm. When you get home, you take it off. You know, it's not permanent. body image you should be comfortable in your skin you shouldn't let people body shame you for no reason yeah you should you should own it yes that's what i feel if you allow your self-esteem to be affected by the way you look then you have to go and commit suicide so you're sorry to say because you shouldn't allow your self-esteem to be affected by the way you look whichever way you look i believe there's somebody out there who likes the way you are and who likes the way you look as my face be like a woman now uh, so I like my face. Now God created me. I cannot change. I cannot wrong thing. I cannot change it. Now only God. Now, now He created everybody here. She want to understand. I like how my wife is. I like how in natural, in stature and everything is. I think women women are putting pressures on themselves and also putting pressures on others because um, you mustn't have the hourglass or the figure head shape before you have. A, a, or sh before you be, you become um, confident in your body or the kind of shape that you have, so your your clothes fit into also matters. So I think women are putting pre more more unnecessary pressure on themselves. I know personally, like I wouldn't bother shame any lady. If you look good, I tell you, I actually tell you, look good. I mean, as long as you're uh, body confident, that's good. If you're body confident, that's that's a good thing. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it's men that it's women that are really trying to, you know, see, see issues where there are no issues. You know what I mean? Okay, well, we're going to um, wrap up the conversation right about here. You guys have given me a lot to think about um, because I think for me when it comes to, to how you look, it always starts with, and it starts with how you feel about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Regardless, at the end of the day, if Dr. X wasn't available, if my Spanx wasn't yes, there, at the end, it, that way. yeah, if it's just me and the mirror, am mm -hmm. I going to be okay with seeing who I, who I see yeah. every single day of my That's life? That's the mind. That's everybody's own perception, your own mind, your who you're, you think you are. If you believe, oh, I'm fat, you're fat. Mm -hmm. 
it's whatever you think about yourself. That's why people have to have high self-esteem about themselves and have confidence in their bodies. So what's one thing that you've actually learned about body image, whether it's good or bad, and how it's um, kind of helped you throughout your life? Um, what I've learned is to accept myself the way I am. I always say this, um, when maybe I want to wear a dress and then I try to pick up sponsor, I drop it, I say, you know what, I'm fat. My stomach is supposed to be big, all of you will be grand. Mm -hmm. And I go about my day like that, and without a care in the world. So it's just, just accept yourself, you know. I just mm. It's difficult myself. for a lot of people. It's not easy, trust me, I will not lie, it took me a while to get here, oh. but now that I'm here, you are I here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, this is where I am at. Like, I've learned that, you know what, as long as you see yourself a certain way, how mm. other people see you would not matter. not matter. You see yourself, you say, okay, you know what, I'm beautiful, I like myself, all rolls, all pudges, you know, all of that, I love it, mm. I go out about my day like that. I will not let these things, you know, make me Get sad or make you. me happy because in the grand scheme of things, what are these things? Yeah. What are, the, exactly, what are these things? You can't please people at the end of the day. So just and what about you? you? What have you? Uh, I've learned uh, honesty. I think that's a big thing. So... By honesty, I mean um, sometimes it's very hard to accept that you are the one that has a problem with how you look. So we've spoken a lot about how everybody else sees you, but sometimes it's people, you genuinely have an issue with how you look, and so you project that mm -hmm. onto other okay. people. People. So I think um, one thing I've learned is just honestly like checking with myself from time to time, like how do I feel about not just my body, but life in general, and how, what am I now going to do? Am I content or... Do we want to do anything about how we feel or look today, about whatever? And that just, it helps because then it's easier to, your mind is clearer about how you feel about yourself. So you, you know when something from the outside is affecting you and when it's your own voice that's telling that's you things. Thing. Yeah. So I've learned to be really honest with myself and to love myself the way that God has made me because I know that if I had the tiniest waist, the biggest boobs, the biggest butt, I will be acting up in these streets. Like, oh my goodness. Kill Lagos, the I'm telling you, <laughs> nobody would rest. <laughs> I'll, would. Be, I'll be tensioning everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like just be happy with where you are at the moment. Um, I always say you're never going to um, be as skinny as the skinniest Point that you were mm -hmm. and you're never going to be as big as you know the biggest person just be happy with where you are exactly I, I think everybody I, just, I always say do you just mm -hmm. do whatever mm -hmm. just do mm -hmm. you do yeah. you because these people have their own problems yes everybody should just be happy their inner self should be happy it's difficult that's what we need to teach a lot of people because mo many times people just people say it's self love self but nobody really loves themselves you have to learn. You have to it's learn. A yeah, it's a People long have to learn. Process. Everybody's caption on Instagram: self love. Mm. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Oh, shame, self love. Self -love. No, but they really, people need to actually love themselves. Yeah. Well, I think that's a great note to end on. Thank you, ladies, so much for being on your talk thank with you. me today. Um, and thank you guys at home as well for joining the conversation. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms mm -hmm. at Indani and also use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Also comment below just because the conversation ends here doesn't mean it has to end online. So let us know your thoughts and I'll see you next time.